I am just gonna go ahead and rinse my eyeballs out with bleach and then put them back into my brain. Well, hello. What's up, new perspective? So this week is cringe week and there is nothing more that I could cringe at. Like there is nothing that makes my insides just more than myself. So I'm going to do three different things here. We're going to go in order from like when I was younger to progressively where it got worse. So, <laughs> so if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Go ahead and check out everybody else's videos because you know what? We are all just a group of cringeworthy humans sometimes and we are happy to share it with you. So let's get started. Firstly, I just want to tell you guys a quick story. Uh, when I was about, I want to say 11 or 12, I, w I know for sure I was in like 7th or 8th grade. I thought it would be cool. I was like, you know what? I'm going to cut my hair. I kept doing that all the way. Well, I still cut my own hair, so I guess I really never stopped. At least now I know what to do. You know, I have good hair now, but back then I certainly did not. So I, I wanted short hair. But I thought that what I should do to get the short length was to just hold it and cut. And I went to school with like one alfalfa sprout. <laughs> and everybody was like, did you cut your hair? And I was like, no. I have a cousin who was very young and she cut my hair while I was sleeping. And they're all like... Okay, so next we're going to react to my favorite... You know what? I've never really shaken out of, well, okay, I, I guess I really, I've gone out of my emo phase and I've kind of developed a style, I would like to call it more of a, like, alternative punk, maybe, uh, just, I would like to say alternative, um, but you know what? I'm still emo at heart, okay? I lived through the good old MySpace days, I went to Warped Tour when it was great, I emo man <laughs> so um these photos here are some of my favorites so this first one here okay everybody in like 2011 was obsessed with Kanye West glasses I don't know why I just started thinking of myself wearing Kanye West glasses god they were terrible and if you look at this whole outfit you'll see that I'm wearing the Kanye West glasses I'm wearing a tank top a pink tank top with a black smaller tank top over top of it with boot cut jeans and crocs and crocs why why am i wearing crocs and kanye west glasses also the bleached roots and like the rest of the dark hair is just really killing me here i can't lie so next is a photo okay so uh, 12th grade, I want to say 11th to 12th grade, is when those scarves, like the, I don't know, everybody got them at like Arden, maybe Forever 21, the, just the scarves that you wrapped around your neck and it was like the V here and then like two straps hung down. Everybody and their mother wore those scarves back in the day. I cringe when I see people wearing scarves like that now. I mean like, actual scarves, like winter scarves are fine, but like, not like full picnic sheet handkerchiefs. Not the right move anymore. Anyways, so this photo here, when I used to do eyeliner, I would just, I had like a small black eye crayon and I would just color my eyes in and go to school like that. Also my bangs, those were cut by myself. Told you I never stopped cutting my hair. So next is a personal favorite. Um, not really a favorite because this was a dark time in my life. At this point, I had got up to almost 220 pounds and I'm so thankful that I got my health in order. Not really because I got cancer, but like after having cancer, like I really got my health in order and I'm, I'm healthily and I'm feeling the best with my weight that I ever have. So looking back on this, I'm like, oh my God, but I just... <sighs> the short black hair. I think that was like one of the first times I really cut and dyed my hair by myself and had it turn out okay. But at that time, everybody was like cutting their hair with like leg razors and just like doing layers like that. Oh my God, I can just see all of my dead ends right now. Yorks. That was next to my toilet, so that's extra cringe. So this was taken, I'm assuming the year after I went to go see Fall Out Boy. 
One, I am wearing my concert shirt, which my mom ended up stealing from me because she loves Follow Boy so much. But two, actually, you know what? This had to be a couple of years after because those were the glasses that I got from going to see the Jonas Brothers 3D concert experience. I went to go see it twice in theaters. I have no regrets. Uh, but after, like, when 3D movies first became, like, popular, everybody would pop out the lenses and, like, oh my god, scene kid! <laughs> oh my god. Anyways, like, the RAR hand, everybody used to do that in photos. I don't know what the hell these pigtails were when the elastics were down, like, bare. That's not doing anything for anyone. Jesus, girl. At least my hair was a decent color. But also, can we talk about all of the wrestling photos in the back of this photo? Because I used to be so obsessed with WWE. Oh my god. And every month I got the WWE magazine and they came with a poster and my walls were entirely covered in WWE posters. Oh my goodness. And now that I watch it, I still enjoy it. Like, I still watch Total Divas and I still, you know, I'm in the, the loop. So, you know, just, that's a good picture. I like this picture. This, this took me back to my roots. But like you can definitely see the evolution of me becoming more of a scene kid. <laughs> so last but not least, I'm going to show you the PS de Resistance. Uh, one of the first concerts I went to go see, I used to go to shows and concerts all the time. I've seen probably about 50 bands, 50 plus at this time. And the first set of bands that I went to go see were Default and State of Shock. Unfortunately, I only got to see State of Shock because I had a curfew. Uh, good times, guys! So, um, you know, I didn't realize going to such a small show and standing close to the speakers that when I came out into the real world, my hearing would be off uh, and that I would sound like Fred. Hey, it's Fred! This is one of the worst videos I've ever put on online. This is when I still had a lisp. Um, this is when I still talked really fast. I, I've had to work so many years on perfecting my speech, really talking slower, enunciating my words, and just speaking like a normal human being because I used to just... And everybody was like, what? So in this video, you can hear me like try to get my words out, but it's just like, please repeat yourself. Like it's, it's just cringy, okay? Please, I warned you, I warned you. I am just looking at the video before playing it. My face was so, oh my goodness. This is a shit show. I am haunted. This is haunting me. All right, are you ready? Let's do this shit. Hey, it's Fred! <laughs> I love Diddy! <laughs> do I sound like him? Yeah! Do I hey, sound Fred. like him? Oh <laughs> okay. I don't know what else to say. Okay. Oh my god, did you hear my lisp? Did you hear my lisp? I don't have it anymore because I trained myself. I heard myself speak and I was embarrassed for myself. Did you hear that lisp? Oh my goodness. This is so embarrassing. embarrassing. Not, I used to say embarrassing. I am just going to go ahead and rinse my eyeballs out with bleach and then put them back into my brain. My skull. My head. Oh, that was painful to watch, guys. Oh, gosh. I hope that you guys felt that deep in your fucking bowels because that made me just want to jump out of my skin. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. Check out everybody's channel. I'm just gonna go shower myself in Lysol. See you next week. Sayonara, new perspective.